This lens will cost you about $2,600. This lens will cost you about $1,500, which is almost about an $1,100 difference. Which one should you get? Let's get into it. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am your host Brandon Cole and today we have an amazing shoot for you guys. So before we get to the photo shoot, let me go ahead and lay the foundation for you. So as you guys know from the thumbnail, you already know why you're here. We finally have, of course, this is mine. I own this. This is the Sony 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8 G Master Mark II. I've been using this lens for a while. It basically is the king of all 70 to 200s. There's nothing more faster or sharper than this lens. Or is it? This, however, my friends, is the new Sigma 70 to 200 2.8 Sony E mount. Sigma did send me out this lens, of course, but they get no say so. They don't see this video before I post it. So everything that you see in this video will be from my personal experience and my professional idea and preference and knowledge of using these so guess what we did today uh, before we get to it i because i've seen reviews on this lens all right let's get this out here i've seen reviews on the 7200 everybody has something to say about it but nobody's actually showing you the images so today guess what because you guys know we don't talk about it we be about it on this channel First of all, that's why you need to subscribe. Make sure you like this channel. Make sure you like this, this video and everything because it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be juicy. But anyway, we gotta put this thing actually to a test. So what we did today is I took both of these lenses with my Sony A1 and the new R2 Nano Trigger with the black dish. Gotta throw that in there. We put, we got a model and we put both of these things to the test out on location. And I'm going to show you the images of these two lenses and how they compare. And I'm going to give you my final thoughts about these two lenses at the end of the video. And then I will give you my experience and what I thought about using both of these lenses side by side in the actual photo shoot. All right, y'all ready? Let's go. Let's get into the video. make sure that we are good good I love that three two one all right come on pigeon pigeon toe <laughs> turn to the, yeah you do you good you good good you good so turn this way a little bit you good just like that perfect and I want you to put put this hand like right here on your head good we don't want you to look out that way towards the street good perfect all right here we go all right good I like it here we go three two one All right, good. Three, two, one. Cross your arms over. Come up like this. Yeah, it's perfect. Here we go. Good. Keep that. Keep that. Three, two, one. Now, I am shooting with the lens hood on with the 70 to 200. So, as you can see, oh, you're kind of like running into the zoom ring and the lens hood at the same time. I kind of don't like that already. But... That's the thing about it. If you're using the lens hood, it kind of covers up the zoom ring. So, yeah. All right, anyway. Gorgeous. Come on, Lala. Three, two, one. Yes, good girl. Give it. Give me life. Bring that elbow in a little bit more. Yeah, it's perfect. Chin up a little bit. Exaggerate. Hold that right there. Three, two, one. One more. Gorge. Love that. Three, two, one. Good. Stay right there. Kind of cut your eye. Don't turn your head. Yes, you got it. Good. Put that down again. Good, good. You good. Come in the middle. Close. Cross over your other leg. Cross over the other leg. Perfect. 
that keeps you closer towards the light. So that's why I did that. Good. I like that tilt. Nice. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Love it. Good. Right here at the lens, right here at the camera. Three, two, one. Good. Bring your head up now. Ooh. Okay, Lala. I see you. So, again, using the Sony already has a point because the zoom ring is down here, not up here near the lens hood. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So, nice. There goes my baby. Come on, Lala. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's see what we got. What? Hold on. Wait a minute. Why is that dark? Oh, stand by. Hold on. Oh, shoot. I'm at F22. Bruh. That ain't good. Try that again. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. You got to get your hands moving. You got to get your hands working. Either grab, your, grab a piece of your hair or whatever. Because when you just stand here like this, it's not doing nothing for your pictures. All right? So you got to keep your hands moving. Either you can grab... Either play with your earrings, bring them closer together, play with your, play with your hair, twist and turn. So, I know you're not cold. You should be warmed up by now. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. All right. Scoot over just a tad bit right there. Come forward. Stop. All right. Here we go. Beauty. Beauty is her name. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bam. Work. Good. Chin up a little bit. Work that expression. Work those head movements. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, good, love it. Three, two, one. Good. Always remember where your light is at so you can turn. You can, your body is good over here. But matter of fact, turn towards this way. Good, good, good. Now you can bring your head back. And you, step, you can either step out with your look. Yeah, there you go, perfect. All right, here we go. And this is, this is what it means to be a photographer. Shit. All right. Here we go, gorgeous. Three, two, one. Turn your head towards the street over there. Good. Three, three, two, one. Look up, look at the street. Perfect. Three, ooh, 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 hold on. Let me find my zoom ring. Three, two, one, first shot. Let me get another one. Good, one more. Ugh. Um, come, nope. Okay, okay, actually you turn. We haven't turned this way yet. Bring the left, bring your left foot forward. There we go, perfect, perfect. There you go. Gorgeous. Good, good, good. Perfect. Three. Good, right there. Three, two, one. Ha, ha, ha. Oof. Woof, woof. Amazing. All right, so your hand, cross your hands back over for me. Yeah, just like that, but I need your head over here. So your head, you're right there. You're, where you are is good. I need you to turn your head like where the rocks are. Yes. My ninja. Here we go. Three, two, one. Stay right there. Get another one. Three, two, one. All right, I need you to turn it, put your, tilt your head up. Good. Good. Turn your head just a little bit more. Over there. There you go. Not at me. Put your eyes over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you good. Yep. Yep, the shots. Perfect. Two shots. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here's the first one. All right, next one, and it's a close. It's a close up. Three, two, one. Good. Oh, yes, yes. All right, let's go. All right, sweet. So we, we got some stuff over here, so we're gonna walk right over there, and um, do some stuff over there too. Okay, guys. So for these next set of shots, I'm gonna do these natural light. I thought it would be a great idea to show you some images straight out of camera so you can look at some of the things for yourself. Now, the only thing that I did with these images was increase the exposure. So I'm going to show you some images straight out of Lightroom. You're going to see which image was taken with which lens. So around three or four images I'm going to show you side by side taken with the Sigma and taken with the G Master. All right. Here you go. Check them out. All right, guys. So we're going to jump over here into Lightroom. Again, we have the Sony G Master Mark II on the left. We have the Sigma on the right. So we're just going to zoom into the pictures, check out some clarity, check out the quality of light here. Again, I wanted to try to get these as close as I could. Um, in this picture, the G Master does appear just a tad bit sharper than the Sigma. 
Um, but again, it's about the lighting. It's about how she's facing and everything. So um, we're going to go ahead into our next set of images. Again, Sony on the left and the Sigma on the right. Let's go ahead and zoom into these images. All right. And as you can see in here, it's so funny because in this picture, the Sigma appears just a tad bit sharper than the Sony. Um, and it's so it's so crazy because you really have to look closely and really pixel peep to try to find um, which ones separate from each other. Again, the, the it was kind of windy, so the model had a little bit of tears in her eyes and everything. But I wanted to get these straight out of camera, unedited, so you can see these for yourself. Again, the Sony on the left and the Sigma on the right. We want to go ahead and zoom in here again. Um, and like I said, in this one, the Sony appears. Um, just a tad bit sharper than the Sigma. Um, look at her nose right there above her lips. Um, really sharp, good image by the um, Sony on that one, all right? And then we're going to do our last set of shots. Again, Sony on the left, Sigma on the right. Let's go ahead and punch into the images. Um, and as you can see right here, it's so funny because to me, the Sigma um, looks sharper in this image than the Sony. So again i mean take it for what it's worth but these are unedited straight out of camera and um yeah it's amazing close race starting from the top we are using none other than the amazing 40 inch black dish all right i'm not using this as a beauty dish we're using that as a soft box today so though there there is no deflector play on the inside all right we want to make sure we get all the light but it's just something about that contrast and that pop of a black dish it just cannot be it just can't be compared. I just love it. So with that, we're using the Explorer 600 Pro with the black dish. And of course, you got to have the C-Stand. Got to have the black, black stand, C-Stand also. So if you guys don't have a C-Stand and you're using Flash, make sure you guys go to theblackdish.com. Again, that's www.blackdish.com. Pick up your softbox and also pick up your um, C-Stand, all right? So moving on over to the camera that we're using today. Again, Sony A1 today using the R2 Nano Trigger. And uh, we are using the 70 to 200s, both Sigma and Sony, all right? A thousand dollar difference in these two cameras, that is a lot of money just to get pretty much the same or equal image quality, which is the reason why I pretty much have all Sigma lenses. Like, I understand Sony is great. I understand having a Sony camera with Sony lenses, but Sigma just has this knack for coming out with amazing lenses with impeccable image quality for almost basically half the price. So it's like, why would I pay all of that when I have just as much as good image quality with my Sigma lenses as I do with my Sony lenses? I'll give you my thoughts at the end of the video. Scoop. At this moment, the brand didn't knew. He fucked up. Oh, that fall? Uh oh. <laughs> so my setting for this, we're going 1250th of a second, 2.8. ISO is one. Uh, you know what? Let's go 125 on ISO. All right. Mm, instead of 100. People don't like 100. Good, here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Cross, the, cross your leg over real quick. Can you cross over? Yeah, perfect. Gorge. Beautiful. Put your other hand on top of your, yep, perfect. Yep, like right on here again. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Good, good, three, two, one. Good, look over at the light. Keep turning. Yep, perfect. Good, three, two, one. Good, work. Good, here we go. Three, two, one. Nice. Good, love it. Three, two, one. Good. Three, two, one. Gorgeous. Three, two, one. Good, good, good. Turn. Perfect. All right, don't move, don't move. Gorgeous. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Nice, didn't, didn't miss a beat, I love it. Keep those hands busy. So now listen, you got a jacket, you got hair, and runny eyes, all right? 
So you and you got pants, so you gotta it's you have to learn how to create poses out of what you have. All right, so move. Okay. All right. See, it's not really about posing. One of the things that you can use to help you cheat with posing is by using the stuff that you have. So if you have a purse, if you have glasses, if you have a jacket, you can create poses out of those things. So it's not about knowing how to pose. It's all about how to create the poses. Three, two, one. Lovely. Love it, love it, love it. Three, two, one. Boom. Here we go. Got to get it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good. Work that, work that one pose. Good. Chin down. I like that. Chin up. Let's do one of those. Good. Turn your head towards there, but don't move your hands. Good. Keep turning your head. Bring it. Good. Just like that. Oh, that's it right there. I'm going to get two shots. Don't move. First one. Three, two, one. Good. And the second one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, that lighting, absolutely fire. So, hmm, I like it, but I just don't like her next to that green. I'm gonna take another shot though, it's all good. Yeah, the green in the background. Fine, I'll make it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, where you see green at? <laughs> oh, no, 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 you good. No, I was talking about the, the stuff in the back. Oh, nah, no, the nah. barn is fine. I'm talking about the... Oh, oh I got you. All right, here we go. All right. Gorge. Here we go. Three, two, one. Check that out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what... Good. Turn your body and lean on the wing like this. Yeah, it's perfect. There we go. Perfect. Good, good, good. That's what we want. Yep, yeah, that's it. Good. Three, two, one. Ooh, foo, foo, foo. Beast. Three, two, one. Good. Good, 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 good. Take that hand and put it on the bar. Yes. Good. Good. Bring that jacket in. Yep, yep, perfect. Three, two, one. Bring your head off the bar. Right there. Stop. Turn and be straight. Right there. Stop. There it is. Bring your chin down. Good. Come on, sniffles. <laughs> Reset. Re Reset. Clean. You good? All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Stay right there. I got to switch lenses real quick. All right. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Right there. Perfect. Three, two, one. Ooh. Good. I like that. I like that. Good. Work. Work, work, work. Turn. Good. I like that. Turn your head. Turn. Turn. Right there. Stop. Good. Three, two, one. Oh, dope, 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 dope. Good. Three, two, one. Chin up a little bit. Exaggerate. Perfect. I like that. Three, two, one. Part your lips just a little bit. Good. Right there. Three, two, one. All right, guys. So check this out real quick. This is the unedited shot. This is the edited shot of this. Back to the unedited so i really want you to see how really sharp this sigma 70 to 200 is look how sharp this is now i'm going to switch over to the edited shot but just look at the amount of detail that is crazy now here is the edited shot right here all right just a little bit of editing dodge and burn um color correction um going back to the original shot going back to the edited shot that is insane, man. It looks so good. Look at the detail. Good, good, good. Lean, lean and do that. Good. Keep your body turned towards me. Yep, good. Lean. There you go, perfect. Good, right there. Good, here we go. Three, two, one. Right there. Gorgeous, here we go. Three, two, one. Good, turn towards the light. Keep that pose. Keep, turn your head straight. There you go, good, right there. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Brent. I want to thank you guys for checking out this amazing video with my 
beautiful model. Uh, we had an amazing shoot, man. Um, the 70 to 200, the lenses worked out flawlessly. Um, after this, I will give you my impression, so stay tuned for the video. Um, Miss Tara, make sure you guys go follow her, man. She's doing some incredible things. Absolutely, you guys have seen her in a few of my last videos, a few of my last images. Absolutely incredible. It's sad that we're going to be losing her for a while as she embarks on her new journey, um, leaving VA, but um, hopefully she'll be back. Hopefully she don't forget about us. But uh, yeah, so how, how can people get in touch with you? Where can they find you at um, Instagram? Um, at Tamara Catrice, T-A-M-A-R-A-H-K-T-R-I-S-E. Tamara Catrice, all right. So I will make sure um, to leave her information in the comment section below. So make sure you guys click on that. Make sure you guys go give her a follow. Let her know that we're thinking about her and um, we're gonna miss her. So until next time, man, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. We out of here. Uh -huh. All right, guys, we're back. So as I promised, I hope you guys, first of all, enjoyed the video, man. It was a lot of work, but my model, my guy, man, he, man, he hung in there with me to give you guys this review. So um, I'm not really going to go over everything about both of these lenses when it comes to it because they basically are basically the same. All right. Both of these things have focus limiters that allows you to go to full down to three meters when you're focusing. Um, for faster focus or racking focus. They both have iris lock, which means if you're turning the aperture ring, you can lock it so you don't turn it while you're doing a photo shoot. I personally experience that all the time because I be moving when I be shooting and sometimes I get my, um, my focus ring, all right, and my zoom ring confused and I end up turning the aperture ring sometimes. So when I use it, I actually do use the iris lock and it is a very great tool to have, especially when you're using two lenses and you're going from the zoom ring on the 70 to 200 on the Sigma, the zoom ring is up here and the um, focus ring is down here. However, on the uh, Sony, the focus ring is up here and the zoom ring is up here. Let me tell you why that is important as you guys saw from the video. When you have the lens hood, remember I shoot when it was really, really bright outside. So when you put the lens hood on both of these lenses, all right, the lens hood for the Sigma comes down over the zoom ring a little bit, but you don't have that problem with the uh, Sony, which is great to have, which is great to know because of course nobody on YouTube is going to show you that because they're not actually out there shooting with it. But um, that's one of the biggest things, especially for a, a photographer. Um, the Sigma is definitely a much heavier, not much heavier, but it's definitely a little heavier than the um, Sony. I don't care about the weight. That might be something great you care about. Who cares? I don't care. I only care about image quality, all right? Um, one of the big things about these two that is definitely a difference with the, with the tripod mount on the Sony, it basically, you just turn it and then it basically like slides off. That's basically all it is. With the Sigma, you have to actually, it doesn't have a way to do that. You actually have to unscrew all of these um, hex screws on the bottom with an Allen wrench to actually get this off. So if you plan on taking this off, you can take it off, but it does have a quarter thread on the bottom of the tripod mount here. So I would just leave it and just deal with it that way. It basically have the same things on each one custom buttons focus limiter they both are incorporated with stabilization optical stabilization on both of these um so at the end of the day it's honestly about the image quality and if you are getting the type of quality out of the sigma that you would get from the sony and i will tell you from using these on location from shooting with a model from using flash with both of these to using natural light to go into different places with everything because that's what we do. I will tell you that if the Sigma came out before I bought the Sony G Master, I would not by no means have the have the Sony 2.8. This is not, I'm sorry, and I, Sony know I love them, but this is not worth $1,100 hundred dollars more than the sigma the image quality out of both of these things was absolutely incredible i had no problem focusing it had no problem locking onto the eyes it 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 wasn't hunting there was no focus breathing like they base they basically both felt like the same lens but i could definitely feel the difference though this was definitely a little bit heavier i definitely could tell because of the zoom ring and where it was placed at um, but 
it is what it is. I do prefer the zoom ring being back here towards me, but there was just something honestly about the zoom ring being up here. It felt like I was closer to the subject versus it being back here. So honestly, after using these two, if I had to pick a preference on the zoom ring, I honestly love the zoom ring being up here closer because it feels like I'm right here. It feels like I'm up here now versus it being back here. You feel me? This felt really, really good. So big shout out to Sigma for actually putting the zoom ring up here. The only thing I don't like is that, like again, the lens hood comes like right here at the top. Uh, I'm sorry. Ooh. The lens hood comes right here and it co goes over the zoom ring just a little bit. It doesn't affect it, but um, if you're shooting like I am shooting and you're shooting on a sunny day and you're using this to using all those tactics and tools that you know of to help block the sun, you know, from getting that lens flare and everything, then that's when you actually notice it. Um, other than that, I want to give a huge shout out to Sigma. This lens was absolutely incredible. I care about how they shoot. I care about the image quality and what I'm getting. And if I am paying 20, if I'm paying $1,100 more for this than this, it is definitely not worth it. And this is honestly the reason why I have more Sigma lenses than Sony lenses, because it don't matter if it's a 70 to 200, it don't matter if it's an 85 or a 50. If it comes in a Sigma, it's probably going to be half the, half the price. And it's going to give me literally almost the same image quality. Almost everything that I shoot with is Sigma. The 35 1.2, the 85 1.4, my 24 to 70 that I use in my studio all the time. My one, my 105 millimeter 1.4, which is the best portrait lens on the planet. My macro is a 105 2.8. I, I mean, the list just goes on and on about the amount of Sigma lenses that I have. And for good reason, because Sigma makes absolutely incredible glass. And even if you feel like the Sony lenses are just a little bit, because it still is third party. So even if you feel like the Sony lenses are better than the Sigma lenses, guess what? It's not $1,100 better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, man. Because nobody is going to bring it to you like your boy bring it to you. You guys might review it, but we actually do it. Ooh! That's my new YouTube slogan. I like that. I like that. You guys might review it, but we actually do it. We gonna end with that. We gonna, we gonna end with that. We gonna...